Hello crafty friends, it's Donna here and I have a pair of cards for you today that are full of sunshine and rainbows. If you'd like the full details of this card, you can find them over on my blog at Donna is Playing Paper. I'll leave a link to that in the box below. You might be wondering what this gnome card is suddenly doing in the middle of this video. Well, as you know, my son Darcy writes the music for this channel and over the holidays I asked him to write us a new piece and I gave him this card as his inspiration. I said I want something kind of quirky and fun for when I'm doing happy colourful cards and so what you're going to hear for the rest of this video is what he came up with. I love it and I hope you do too. Let's get started shall we? I'm going to make a rainbow today from strips of paper. Pieces of coloured paper seem to accumulate in my crafty space and so what I've done here is cut one centimetre strips of a rainbow of colours and I'm going to arrange them on my card. This big roll that you see is just really wide double sided adhesive. You could use a regular roll and put several strips down or perhaps you have some sheets of double sided adhesive or you can just lay down glue for each of the strips. I'm using the lines on my grid mat to make sure my first strip is level and then working from the inside out in both directions I'm adding the next strips. This double sided tape is really sticky. You really only have one shot at putting the papers down. And so the way that I'm doing that is to butt the very edge of the strip up against the strip that's laid down and only when I'm happy that it's lining up all the way along am I pressing it down into contact with the sticky paper. I had a little bit of double sided tape left at each end and I hate to waste it. So I've had a little bit of a rummage in the bin. Put the backing paper back on and then cut those strips off for use at a future date, which turned out to be just later in these cards. Once that's all done, I've cut my rainbow panels down to size. Originally this was going to be just a single card, but when I looked at the shape of all of those strips hanging off the edge, I decided that a second card would be a great idea. And so you have that today as a bonus. The next part of the card uses the Leaf Burst Rectangle Frame die and this die comes in two parts. You can cut just the frame and leave the centre intact or you can use both parts and cut an empty frame and that's what I'm doing today. I've cut one from my nice white paper and one from some scrap card that I had lying around in my craft room. I'm gluing those together and then setting my misty and my teapot just to make sure that they dry nice and flat and in good contact. Let's add a little touch of whimsy shall we? I'm going to use a cupcake from the Hey Cupcake, take seven of trying to say that, the Hey Cupcake stamp set and I'm going to cut that with the matching dies. We won't spend much time on the colouring today because that's not the main part of the card. But there are other cards on this channel where I have coloured this exact same stamp in both bright and in pastel shades. So have a look for those if you want to see a little bit more about the colouring.
Isn't that fun? The sentiment for today is called Chunky Happy Birthday. And it also has a background dye, but I'm not using that today because I want maximum rainbow. Once I've glued the frame down, I'll piece together the happy birthday in the centre of the frame and then I'll add the cupcake. Because the cupcake sits half on and half off that double thickness frame, I'm using glue on part of the back of that and also some double sided tape on the right hand side. I'm going to glue that panel down to a USA sized card base which is four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches and that card is done. Let's look at those leftovers shall we? I found the different lengths of the strips just really pleasing and so I decided to add them to a second card. I'm going to add a sentiment and also some little flowers to match my stripes from the Bright Days Ahead die cuts pack. And here's where that extra paper comes in handy. This rainbow of strips of paper was now at two different heights because my original sheet of paper only covered part of it. And so I've added some paper behind the other strips and then glued it all down onto the card. I'm going to use foam tape for the other elements for a quick and easy, fun, bright rainbow card. I'll leave you with some pictures of the cards. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and the bright sunny colours. Until next time, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll be back again soon with some more cards. Bye for now.